Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 368. I'm your host, Norman Sando. And I would like to wish all um, the Muslim audience who are watching this right now and happy Idol Fitri. Uh, you guys spent a whole month of fasting and now you guys get to eat. Even though this episode is kind of a week late. Doesn't matter. So uh, let's head on to the news because news is interesting interesting I have to say so first up we get new musical production in the works for 2020 My Little Pony Live so it seems like the company Mills Entertainment will be doing a live pony theatre thingy and in all honesty I got no idea what that is because um, I've seen pictures online about what it could be and you know what I'm gonna hold off for a second because it seems that the press release here uh, they're, they're doing something they're doing something because <coughs> uh, they're, they're gonna do a theater play and stuff like I, I got no idea man like I'm looking here and it's just vague starting the main six the character names and all that and all that and then also including spike and stuff but they're not really saying what this could possibly be or whatever it is but from what i can tell uh this is their website um nothing much nothing up yet and it's coming soon so on and here is their twitter and uh daniel tiger's neighborhood i i've seen this one before uh the show not this and it seems interesting and yeah if, if you remember the tiger who is kind of um neighborhood kind of thing like you, you get a general idea of what to expect for the future of the life play and stuff like that and yeah this could be for daniel's tiger neighborhood but I'm not sure how pony's gonna work into it and going through here yeah, nothing much. It's just a lot of randomness. Mm, nah, I got no idea. But anywho, back to this. Um, long story short, it's just going to be a theater play where the main heroes are going to go on an adventure and solve problems. And probably uh, main villain would be Chrysalis. That'll be fun and easy and uh, intriguing because who else would you want to put in it'll be all confusing and whatnot and in all honesty the main six plus spike battling chrysalis that'll be fun that'll be a lot of fun but i hope that they do not use the pony costume like what they did with uh, daniel there that's not fun not fun at all could you just imagine spike oh no i can <laughs> i can just imagine this already where they're just gonna dress up the main six as well um similar to equestria girls main six where they just put on their uh, nice costume shirt and whatnot with the dresses and so on like you, you can just imagine all the cosplayers take inspiration from that put it on put pony ears unicorn horn pegasus eye wings on then for spike they just put in like what they did with that bird like have you seen that bird where's that bird yeah yeah that bird yeah that could be spike oh no oh no sorry <clears throat> so yeah um will be interesting but 2020 eh? huh august no that's the news march of 2020 so i'm just wondering will ponies be still airing in 2020 hmm i'm not 100 sure but that will at least if 2020 comes around We'll still have some pony content, so that's awesome. And moving on to the next news. Pony Wheelchair by Magic Wheelchairs. So I've checked this out for a bit and this is really cool. <coughs> Magic Wheelchair, uh, here's their website, is a, I won't say non-profit, but there are a group of people, volunteers and so on, who make really awesome wheelchairs for the disabled and so on i mean uh, it could be this 
specially selected and whatnot and so on and as you can see here they make awesome wheelchairs from TIE fight I'm guessing that yeah that, that is a huge wheelchair uh, TIE fighters to Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon and so on uh, what's this oh wow hey he could be a I understand Lee. so anyway um, recently they did one with pony teams and here are some of the pictures on their Instagram and this is just awesome you can see uh, it's a fully working wheelchair with um, all of the greatness and whatnot and it's being pulled by Celestia, Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash and that's just awesome and the detailed work on this is oh my goodness it's so good uh, what else um, without training in the video okay uh, the way that they the, the uh, teaser this is this is already cool and whatnot and then uh, it's uh, where, where is this from? I think Expo. Hmm. So yeah, this is her before the wheelchair, and once she got it, like oh my god, it's so cool! Like oh, this is the reveal. Oh, and there's a video, and uh, I can't play. I, I I don't want to be stealing content from other people. But yeah, um, this is her with the chair or not? And oh my god, that is so cool. That that is very very cool and awesome. <coughs> And yeah, in all honesty, this is just heartwarming to see, and uh it's like so cool. And other than that, like, um, if you are interested in, well, I, I won't say getting one, but in helping them, go check out their website at uh, magical sorry um, magicwheelchairs dot org. Uh, there is a place where you can volunteer or donate, and there's Lufrigno with Hulk and stuff like that's so cool. Uh, yeah, but still, uh, if you're interested in helping out, go to their website, magicwheelchair.org, and go volunteer, go to donate, uh, whatever you can, and hey, um, it'll be a lot of fun. You, you do good, you do good. And last on the list is, well, Pony Baking Books, or My Little Pony Baking bo Book, yes. So, a while back, we reported on this where uh, there is a pony team cookbook where you can bake stuff like cakes and so on and I haven't really seen what's inside except for one page where uh, you can make Celestia's good morning pancakes you know the pancake with the faces and whatnot you can do that so that will be really interesting and in all honesty I got no idea what they have in the list you can check it out on the Amazons and it seems that there are already um, multiple prices. Hardcover is eleven twelve. Um used you can get it for seven thirty four, uh, new is eleven dollars and so on. So yeah, uh, no real what you call this um, hmm that looks interesting. Uh no. Oh yeah, here, here, here. You here we got some customer, uh, customer image. Yes, so it shows what's inside for a bit, like a table of content, grocery, yeah, you know, all the good stuff. And yeah, what what you wanna make? Uh, fresh sugar cookie bars, yay, and so on. And yeah, you get the chimichangas, <laughs> a chimichurri changa. So they tell you what you need, the direction, so on. And yeah, this is cool. Uh, nah, this is a pancake. Uh, Princess pancake. Oh, cool. The ingredients, direction, go have fun. So yeah, if you are really interested in uh, doing this, I say go buy. Go buy the book and try it out for yourself. It'll be fun. It'll be a lot of fun. And some people say cooking is kind of relaxing. Yes. So that is the news for this week. So... <coughs> Let's go on to the next topic. What have I been doing with my week? And like I mentioned before, um, last week, uh, yeah, like I mentioned before, uh, Idol Free Tree was around the corner and it was kind of a public holiday for Malaysia. So what we did, so what I personally did was uh, ate a lot of good foods, went to friends' houses. It's 
the 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 way I would describe it or the closest thing that I could compare it is with just imagine Thanksgiving and Christmas at the same time where you well celebrate with your friends and family then have great food and whatnot and just well enjoy and there's also the stress of cleaning house make sure everything is perfect and you know all that good stuff you know the whole stressful Oh no, this is terrible. I'm not ready for this. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> so, yeah. Um that's what I've been doing and also uh I, I did a few purchases. I did a few purchases. Um had some extra cash lying around and I thought, "Hey, um I want to try something. I want to play Overwatch with a controller." And plug in my PS4 controller, it didn't work. So, I went out and bought myself a Xbox One controller. Um, my initial thoughts and reviews of said controller is it's not bad. I, I like the feel, uh, the way that it handles the buttons and everything. It is really awesome. And I have to say that it is a really fine controller. It is a fine controller. The only problem, it's not the only problem, it's kind of a what would you think would happen kind of deal is that the controller doesn't work with the PS4 that's obvious you dumb dumb and if you plug it into the PC it works automatically obviously Microsoft and Microsoft yes but uh, yeah um, checking it out I saw that you could buy this converter to hook it up to the controller and stuff to make it work for the PlayStation 4 and that costs around 30 to 40 dollars and I thought to myself no 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 it's not worth it it's not worth it so yeah um, I am totally enjoying this because um, what really impressed me is the d-pad because uh, normal PlayStation d-pads uh, give me a second eh? yeah um, normal PlayStation d-pads uh, you have this thing where the d-pads are kind of mushy like i'm pressing it near the microphone and you can clearly tell that it's not really fun and nice and the directional pad is all kind of mixed or joined together so when you press one button the other buttons moves at the same time and if you're playing a game like uh, a fighting game or really precision button details it kind of you might mispress or something as an as for the xbox one controller everything is kind of separate where each pad or each direction is dedicated to its own buttons and like that like the d-pad is obviously one big plastic thing but when i press it you can hear this it's its own button where I, I kind of like it like this is kind of cool other than that the triggers and everything is kind of cool but I had problem with the trigger where it was stuck and I look online to see how to fix it and it's kind of simple crack open the panel here just to get access to this part here clean it out with a cotton swab and done but the problem is I accidentally use a clock maker uh, screwdriver and it kind of scratches my triggers so my triggers are kind of imperfect and that annoys me I'm, I'm kind of a perfectionist at heart so yeah Whew. but yeah <coughs> that's a mouthful and probably bore some of you guys I'm sorry but yeah, that, that's been going on with my week. Um, played a few games and so on. And yeah, I, I'm enjoying my um, weekend. Oh, my week. Um, uh, in terms of movie that came out that I really want to watch but I didn't have the time. Is the new Godzilla. I heard a lot of mixed feelings on this. And the one that I am kind of... Murph on is the reviewers or people most of the reviewers say that 
there's a lot of monsters fighting. That's not good. And I'm thinking, wait, you're watching a monster flick, a creature feature, where big giant monsters are going to fight with each other. Ain't that what you want? And hey, um, <coughs> maybe you need humans talking because <sighs> I don't know. Personally, I kind of like big giant monsters fighting, especially if you can get Pacific Rim involved in it. But who knows? We'll see. Uh, I'm I'm hearing that this is going to be the monster verse where a lot of creatures are going to be involved. So yeah, we'll see. But yeah, uh, I might go and watch it next week and see how because it looks like a fun movie. Yes. But other than that, that's mm, yeah. That's about it. Like maybe future plans go watch Godzilla. Will be fun. So anywho, um, <coughs> if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmsgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube, and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also Stitch Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLife.com. Links are in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Jeffrey, and also myself. Like, thank you so much, guys. You are awesome. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys... And I'll catch you next week with another fun episode of the NBS show. See ya.